channel welcome to my channel if you landed here for the very first time hope you subscribe to my channel click on notification bell so don't miss out any further updates you can also follow me on my instagram twitter facebook all the links in the description box come on stapo hope you're doing really fine and we are here for the third part of goya truck story sb19 story episode zero. Oh, hold up i'm sorry ghost Three missing members revealed. This was revealed yesterday, the video, but I was at my vacation home. I did have, um, I didn't have things that I can react to at that time, so I'm a little bit late. So I hope you guys can forgive me for that. But better late than never. Tried to be as quick as possible. Just returned before a few hours, <laughs> and I'm like, let's sit and watch our boys and everything. There are so many vlogs I have to react to. Yes, I know, but I'm also waiting for subtitles for some. Let's hope we can do that soon. And let's go playing. Chuckies. Disclaimer, this video is only based on my personal research. I might miss some details and it's possible to have discrepancies. But I did my best to get as much accurate information as possible. So enjoy. Some people called me out because I credited the Go Up dance choreography to Stell and Kim. They wanted me to only credit Stell. Well, guess what? I was wrong. Because it was all of them who choreographed it. Oh. Oh. It was a team effort. Hmm. Now that we're past that, let's get into the video. Okay. <laughs> hey. This is the timeline that most <clears throat> of us know. A timeline that we managed to stitch together using the information we found on the web. The internet is a vast universe. It is so big that there are still tons of information that are just hidden in plain sight. And some of them are just waiting to be discovered. What? This is insane. This is a hand, okay. Damn. What if I Those told you skills. that Pablo, Stell, Josh, and Justin almost debuted with three other guys in 2017? Would you believe me? I believe whatever you say. They perform Love Goes Together. How come I don't know? Did still just belt the entire bridge? Damn. I know. Their group surely looked and sounded promising, but what exactly happened to the three other guys? Before we even became uh, SP19 as a group, um, actually, she still na iwan siya. She still and Justin. Kung baga lahat kami na quit na, kung malik lang kami dahil na parang the word quit has a negative connotation but we have to understand that there are a lot of things going on behind that decision a good example is the lack of financial income because they didn't even have a salary to begin with and i'm sure that there are many other valid reasons imagine doing the same thing over and over and over again for more than two years i can only I imagine their state of mind during those times so let's address the elephant in the room. Who are these guys? And where in the world are they now? Oh my god, this is... Okay. This looks like a good place to be in. Do you recognize this guy? <laughs> I'm not talking about shirtless style, you guys. I'm talking about Why? this guy, Rafa. 
He was supposed to be the group's bass vocalist. After training with Show BT, he moved on by though. running a K-pop reaction channel on YouTube. Ooh. He also works as a freelance videographer and is now actively supporting his presidential candidate. He also made an appearance in the emotionally charged video greeting for SB19 oh. in their Our Zone concert. Oh my God, oh. After a few test runs, they revamped the group to join the 2017 Pinoy K-pop star. This is when the prototype team was formed. We are Paradox. For whatever reason, Rafa was replaced by this guy, Zeno. They did not win in the competition. After Zeno's stint with Show BT, he became a member of the OG roster of the K-pop cover group called Zero to Hero. And speaking oh. of OG members, it just so happened that C13 of Vision was part of it as well. Hey! Oh my god. He's a vice, by the way. It's so mind-blowing how interconnected exactly. our idols' lives were, and I'm not even done yet. During oh my, my research, God, I stumbled so... upon this clip with C13 and Josh on the same stage. Just a fair warning, what you're about to see will slightly break your heart. <laughs> I also saw C13 getting tired of his clothes. <laughs> we love it. He's getting tired. Nananahimi ka ko sa pagre-research sa pagyuti yung bubulaga. Anyway, when C13 left the country to work in the US, the remaining Zero to Hero members decided to debut as a P-pop group. That's, that's I'm sure most of you didn't know this, but their debut wasn't a success, so they were forced to back out. After the setback, Zeno got into modeling and also pursued his interest in freelance videography. In the present day, he lives his life privately with a little mix of dancing from time to time. Okay. So much challenge which we don't know about. It's just out there. While all of these things are happening, our boy Ken has been wreaking havoc in the K-pop dance cover world with his group GA7. GA7. And Amigo7. Amigo7. They're doing so many GOT7 covers, by the way. Sheesh. The next one I'm gonna talk about is this guy. Kurt. Kurt. Not gonna lie, I sometimes mistook him for Justin because they have a similar frame. Even before his trainee days, oh. he was already a member of Seon together with Stell and Josh. Again, oh my god. I'd have to be muting a lot of things if there would be... After training with Show BT, he moved on by teaching dance so. to students and continued performing with his K-pop cover group called Principium. Principium. Okay. I'm the biggest hit. I'm the biggest hit. You can check out their YouTube oh, okay. channel. They still make some awesome K-pop dance covers to this day. I mean, I can see Kurt that. presently works as an animator and a digital painter as well. I'm glad they're all doing well though in a way. I'm sorry but I have to mute a lot of songs. 
with the copyrights because I do not have Patreon or anything so I mean I do but I don't get money from them <laughs> PHP it wasn't only Pablo who stood there to watch the whole duration of PHP's rehearsal there was also Stell, Josh and Justin it's because they were brothers the last guy who almost became SB19 happens to be a member of PHP now oh. and that is JP. JP. This guy along with Charles and Yukito were Pablo's mentors because he was the youngest among their PHP oh dance God. cover group. They were instrumental in what Pablo has become. The boys also trained in show BT together only to see their closest brothers to not make it. This specific moment is very special because we just witnessed the full circle. From Pablo being the youngest to becoming the leader of SB19 from seeing his brother struggle so hard to finally seeing their success. Aww. And there is still so much of hate between the fandoms in the Twitter. Why? After seeing this, why? Aww. Don't make me cry again, please. In our lives, there can be moments when you feel like it's easier to give up. Heck, some people in this video even gave up at one point. But they came right back with a different perspective. Their past didn't break them. It built them. Yukito was in fact the leader of Zero to Hero that failed in their debut. But that didn't stop him. He came back with a different game plan together with his brothers who also failed with him in the past and look at where they are now. So if you're watching this video yes, and you are going through tough times, change your perspective. Thank the person who broke up with you because it gave you the opportunity to meet someone better in your life. Thank your boss for firing you because it gave you the opportunity hey. to explore entrepreneurship. Thank your haters because life would be boring without them. Don't <laughs> be bitter. Be better. Hey. Always choose to be kind. If you don't yeah. do that, you'll just end up as a mere ghost in the past. Oh my god, gruesome's again. Shoot. Just how much work. At this point, he needs to be hired, I swear. It's not even... It's not even a thing that we're just saying because it's really good and we want to compliment him. We mean it. Oh, wait, and what is happening? <sighs> Mind blowing, that's all I can say for now. I don't have any other words coming right now, but. Thank you again for your hard work and thank you again for watching if you did. Hope you enjoyed with me. I did and I will see you guys next time. Bye berries. Love you. Mahal kita.